Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Alrighty, things are getting a little more interesting with the mission at this point. Figuring out a couple other things. So, as you know, we have a little carrier out here. Since the last video, I've added a few other bits to the carrier group. So now, we've got a Ticonderoga class. We also have an Oliver Hazard Perry class vessel. And I've given them the same waypoints as the carrier has. I also threw a random AI group in here to help out. Just basically a, a two-man F-18 group that's going to fly into the shit over here. And they're basically set up to fly this waypoint, go to here, look for something to fight in this area, and once it's all said and done, that's waypoint one, two, and then waypoint three is landing at Sochi Adler. So if they live that long, they'll make it over to here. Now, in addition to that, I've added another group, or flight, shall we say, of Harriers to do a pinpoint strike on the enemy base that we're basically trying to beat up on and that everything is spawning from. So they're set to take off and I have them set for a late activation. So the condition I'm gonna set for that. Let's see what are we gonna do? Let's go to the rules for triggers. Let's make a new trigger. Harrier launch, or Harrier strike, how about that? Sounds a little more dramatic, doesn't it? So far, I've been sticking to this group alive or group dead. So we'll do group dead. If If my Nighthawk group gets killed, nah, that's kind of tough. I don't know what's going to happen. I want I want them to launch, so... Let's say if the Vigan group dies... Just for the hell of it. We'll use the Vigan group death as a trigger. Because they're going to die. Then we will group activate the Harrier group. So at that point, they're going to zip in and do their thing. Now I added another one here. So basically, MiG-31 Scramble at another airbase not too far away from the existing enemy airbase that everything is coming from and that I'm sending people to attack. There's also a base close by. And if the MiG-21 escorts for the TU-160 get killed, then... We're going to activate two groups of MiG-31s to intercept and go into the zone. And basically, they... Let me zoom out here. So this is where the shitstorm is happening over here at this base. Oh, I grabbed that. I hate grabbing things in this. So our shitstorm is happening over here. But, there's another base that's not too far away. Let's see, this base is... Oh, damn it, I grabbed the wrong thing. No, no there we go. If you hold the... Uh, I found out if you hold the middle mouse button in, it'll tell you how far away something is. So, 40 miles away... It's like a little ruler. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So, 40 miles away is the other base. So, 40 miles away, I have... Two groups of three MiG-31s. And the one thing I've noticed so far is when playing this is those MiG-31s are a real prick sometime. They make a decent adversary. So I have them thrown in there. And this is a red base as you can see. And again, you can go around and you choose this stuff. I could choose this as a neutral or a blue base if I wanted to, the Kradnessor Center or whatever. Um, you basically just go around and click the bases and it lets you choose red, neutral, or blue. 
And again, this neat little tool, if you hold the middle mouse button in and drag it around, it'll tell you how far something is. So we're only like 30 miles from the other base. So we're a couple BVR shots away from each other, pretty much. So I think that is all I've added in here, in this part at least. I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do another video where I launch and take a look around and see how things are acting at this point. So let's see how that goes. Watch for the next video here. Please subscribe to the channel and I hope what I'm doing is helpful. This is a shorter one, but I'm trying to do them in little short spurts to make it easier to watch so you don't have to watch them all at once. And again, I'm, I'm always watching for comments. Uh, I'm learning as we go as well, you know. I, I really should have called this series, you know, DCS Mission Editor for Dummies because a lot of this is new to me as well. But it's, you know, it's starting to make sense. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Until next time.